Hello developers, welcome back. In the last video of the Laravel 45 series, we have created the login and registration feature. Now today in this lesson, we will implement reset password and update profile information. Before moving ahead, a quick reminder, if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon so when i upload new videos you get notified so let's start implementing the reset password feature so in the browser if i navigate to login page right now there is no any link for the forgot password page now if we uncomment this to enable the reset password feature and go back to the browser and refresh now here is the forgot password link that is because if we navigate to the resources use or login.blade.php and here is the forget your password link and in the if condition you will see that if route has password request route and then it will show the forget password link and so if we go to the terminal and see php artisan route list and right here you can see we have route for password request so now if i click this link and here we get the error request password reset link view response error because for this route we have not specified any view so in the documentation let's see the this one password reset and in the fortify service provider we need to use this request password reset link view Let's copy this and let's navigate to the providers, Fortify service provider and in the boot method paste that right here. Now we need to create this view. So in the resources, views, auth, here I'll create forget password dot blade dot php. Now I will steal the markup from the Laravel UI package and in the source directory auth here is the bootstrap stubs and in the auth directory in the passwords and the markup for the forgot password view is in the email stub and let's copy this all and paste it right here in the forgot password view now go to browser and refresh this page once more time and here we get the reset password view now if we see the form in the blade file here is the form and its action is password email and in the route list and that is this route so we don't need any modification right here so to see this first we need to configure the email driver in the environment file so in the dot env file here is the email driver for testing mail, I'm going to use mail hog that I have already installed it in my system. You can use mail trap. You just have to specify mail trap username and password right here. Because I'm going to use mail hog, I will set mail hog configuration here. So here I'll specify 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and the port is 1025. And that's done. Now in the browser, we can see the mail hog mailhog.test and it look like this now i'm going to send this set password to harish at example.com cannot send message without sender address oh that is because i forgot to set email from address let's say that is harish at laravel 45.test now go back refresh and send password to harish at example.com and it has emailed the password link now in the mail hook here is the reset password notification now if i click this reset password button and it has redacted to the reset password route with the token and it did not work because we have to specify view for this route so let's go to documentation and for the view we need this reset password view so let's copy it and and let's close this and paste it in the fortify service provider right here now we need to create this reset password view so in the resources views auth 
he said password dot blade dot php and here i will copy markup from the passwords reset stub copy all of these and paste it right here is done now go back refresh now we get the error undefined variable token and that is right here in the hidden input field right here this token so here we can say request token and refresh and now it's working here email is reset example.com new password confirm password and reset password is done now let's log in with the new password and it's working we have implemented the reset password feature using the laravel 45 if you want to customize the logic for reset password you can implement this in the app actions 45 reset user password right here let's close this and next we will implement update profile information so let's uncomment this and then the php artisan route list again and here you can see we have a new route for update user information and its method is put and path is user profile information and its name is user profile information update but here we cannot see any get request for user edit profile so we will create a new route in the in the routes web.php right here and here i'll say route view and it is going to be profile slash edit and it is going to return view profile dot edit because this page is accessible for authenticated user so here i'll add middleware both is done so so in the view directory i'll create profile and blade file edit dot blade dot php next i'm going to steal the markup for this blade file from the auth login blade file let's copy this and paste that here so now now here i'll say edit profile and here is the form and its action should be this one user profile information update is that right here here is method is put so here i'll add method put next we need to add the fields for user profile and here we have email and next field i will add let's say copy this and let's say that is name and change that name is done now we have two fields one is the name and second is the email and here is the another input field for password we don't need this let's remove it here is the input field for remember password let's remove this and here is a link for forget password we also don't need this remove it and here it the button name should be let's say update profile it's done now let's go to browser and navigate to profile slash edit and here we have two input fields i forgot to change field name here that is right here sad name go back refresh and now it's better we have name and email address right now this field doesn't have the value for current logged in username and email address let's fix this so right here in the value old name or auth user name similarly for the email field auth user email now it's done let's go browser refresh and here we have name field email field 
let's update this harish kumar and email is harish kumar at example.com now update profile and it is updated refresh and we have default name and in the navbar also it has updated to harish kumar the logic for update password is in the app actions 45 right here in the update user profile information here in the update function first it has validated the input fields and then it has validated that if the new input field is not matched with the old input field and the user model is instance of must verify email then it should update the verified user and that method is right here it is going to save name email and email verified at to null and then it is going to send email verification notification otherwise it is going to save name and email address and if you want to add more field or your own logic you can implement in this action next let's update this update password feature as well now if we go to terminal and run the php artisan route list again and this time we will see new route this one user password and its name is user password update and its method is put so next we will create a new route for password update so in the web.php here i am going to add new route that is going to be profile password and its view is profile dot password next let's create this view so in the profile here i will add password dot blade dot php now for this view i am going to steal markup from the o3 set password blade let's copy this and paste it right here let's close this now next uh, change password and here action is password update we need to change it to user password update paste that here and its method is put so here i'll add method put and next we don't need this hidden input field let's remove it next instead of this email field we need input field for current password so here i'll say current password we don't need this value for passwords so remove it and we don't need a autocomplete remove that also and here we have password that we need and we have confirmed password next instead of reset password here i'll say save now navigate to profile password route and here we have input field i forgot to change its label right here here i'll say current password go to browser refresh and it's done now let's verify if it works so first i'm going to enter wrong current password and here password type should not be the text it should be the here type should be the password now refresh let's type the wrong password now new password confirm new password let's save it has submitted the form but we did not see any feedback to see what is going on behind the scene we will navigate to app actions 45 update user password and here is the update method where it is saving the new password and here it is validating the current password and the new password and it has specified the validate with bag update password in the blade file if i dump dollar errors and submit the form again wrong current password new password confirm new password and save you will see that it has given the error bag update password has the two validation message for password and current password so to display the error 
in this error we need to specify the error back in our case that is the update password here the first argument will be the field name in our case that is the current password and second argument going to be the error bag name so let's remove it and in this input field also we need to specify the second argument that is the error bag name similarly here in this for the password field also and right here also is done now refresh and submit the form again wrong current password new password and save and now we can see the validation error now this time let's add the correct current password and new password confirm new password and save it has submitted the form but we didn't see any feedback let's dump the session status and update the password again save and after password is updated here status is password updated so here we can add if session status is equal to password updated then here i'll say div class alert alert success and password updated success Fully. now go to browser try one more time current password and new password and now password is updated successfully let's log out and login with the new password email is harishkumar at example.com new password and we are logged in successfully is done now we have implemented the user password update feature today in this lesson we have implemented the reset password update profile information and update passwords in the next lesson we will implement email verification thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.